Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so I've been playing around a bit today and I took some inspiration from Medieval Engineers. Now, I've been trying to build a trebuchet. Now, it kind of works. Let's jump in and I'll show you what I mean. Oh, let's load it first. Okay, so the loading mechanism, I've been playing around a bit to see what works best. So originally I was playing around with like a merge block and then detaching the merge block. But what I find works better is actually like the rotor heads. So I'm just going to attach a warhead to it now. I mean, I guess you could detach whatever you want to it. You know, if you could just you could just attach armor blocks and whatnot. But we'll attach um we'll attach uh, a warhead for it on it now. I am on Mars and it doesn't seem to be performing as well on Mars. But well, you'll see what I mean. So I've got like a gyroscope on the 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 main beam uh, rotor. And that allows me to rotate it all the way around. I'm trying to aim for that. Just anyway, so let's jump out. And I'm pressing one to de detach it. This one has gone a little bit further, but we're looking at around 1,000 to. Yeah, it's about, about about a kilometer. Okay, so the concept of this trebuchet is quite straightforward. The main aiming part of it revolves around this center piston and this rotor here. And that will basically allow you to aim and choose your target. Now, the secondary rotor here will allow you to choose how high and ultimately how far the missile is going to go. I find, well, from my practice, the shots I've been doing, it's a little bit actually angled a little bit too far um, you want to be trying to get it uh, angled pretty much as center as you can so around about zero I think this is about 120 um, so zero uh, releasing on zero will let it will make it go the furthest uh, you can pretty much aim it with you can load it with anything that you want really so if I load it back here so if I press nine that will attach a rotor head and to be fair you can just release it with with that it's not really going to do any damage but at least you can see whereabouts it's heading Okay, so I've come back to Earth and I've mounted on one of these, like one of these pirate bases. Uh, I am on a hill, so I'm assuming it's going to go a little bit further. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tinker the missile that I'm launching a little bit. But what I want to do is create some kind of glider kind of system. Uh, we haven't got a road ahead on that yet, so let me just stick one on. I'll uh, add a small one. Let's have a think how we're going to build this. Is on the side. What we will need to do is we're going to have to um, put these on proper override the controls so it's going to really make it move. Now I think the gyro will keep it level. Let's set this up. So thrusters max out the override on that. Uh, the warhead needs arming. Cool. Okay, let's give that a try. Oh, win.
Okay, so 1.29, not great. I'm wondering if the um, the launch angle is a little bit shallow. I'm gonna see if I can get it to go a little bit further by increasing the launch angle, and uh, hopefully we can get it to glide a bit further. I think space is going to be the best place for it. Now there's not any gravity and there's no air resistance. When you launch that missile it's just going to keep going until an admin deletes it or it hits something. Yeah. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please also consider subscribing. Catch y'all next time.